What if Frieza didn't destroy Planet Namek? What's up, Dragon Ball Radar? Colt here with the first episode of What If. On today's episode, we are going to talk about what if Frieza didn't destroy Planet Namek. First, we must look at why Frieza tried blowing up the Planet Namek. Frieza knew he was losing the battle. He knew the only way to win was to destroy the planet, allowing Goku to die. But let's say Goku put an end to Frieza before he got the chance to blow it up. Goku would still be a Super Saiyan. But when they wish for all the people that were killed by Frieza back to life, they would all be back at Namek and would be no need for them to be wished to Earth. But here's where things get tricky. Vegeta would still be at Namek and considering how Vegeta is at this point in the anime, he wouldn't want to go back to Earth unless it was for revenge. And Goku, Gohan, Bulma, and Piccolo would go back on the same ship that Goku came in on. This would mean Goku would not crash land on planet Yardrat, which also means Goku would not learn instant transmission. Once Goku and everybody got back to Earth, Trunks wouldn't be there to warn them about the androids because Vegeta would no longer be with Bulma. And the Z Fighters would die, just like Trunks' timeline. Even if Vegeta showed up between the three years, they would still die to the androids, no matter what, even if he decided to help. But let's say Vegeta came back with Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, and Bulma. I would say Vegeta and Bulma would still get together and Trunks would be born. And then Trunks would come from the future and warn them of the androids. And they would train. And I assume everything would go on as it did in the anime. The androids would come and they'd still be unable to defeat them. So they'd be forced to go back in the hyperbot time chamber and train. Cell would end up coming and absorbing both of the androids and become perfect just like it did in the anime. And the Cell games would start and Gohan would still go Super Saiyan 2. But when Gohan starts playing with Cell and Cell ends up self-destructing, Cell would end up blowing up the planet along with the Z Fighters because Goku would not be able to use instant transmission to transport him to King Kai's planet. And after the explosion, Cell would remain alive as he did in the anime, thus being able to destroy the universe. Unless, of course, someone doesn't destroy him. Alright, that's it for this episode. I know it's a little short, but I feel like I covered everything that would happen in this scenario. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyways. If you did enjoy it, please like the video and comment below on what scenario we should do next time. Be sure to subscribe for more content. Until then, I'll see you next Monday. Have a good one.